The last time a Tyrell came to dawn, he was assassinated. A hundred red scorpions, was it? You have nothing to fear from us, Lady Olenna. You murder your own prince, but you expect me to trust you? We invited you to Dorne because we needed your help. You came to Dorne because you needed our help. What is your name? Barbara? <laughs> oh, Barbara. Oh, Barbara. Barbara. You look like an angry little boy. Don't presume to tell me what I need. <laughs> Forgive my sister. What she lacks in diplomacy, Do she makes... shut up, dear. <laughs> Anything from you? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> Let the grown women speak. <laughs> The Lannisters have declared war on House Tyrell. They have declared war on Dorne. We must be allies now, if we wish to survive. Cersei stole the future from me. Survival is not what I'm after now. It is not survival I offer. It is your heart's desire. Hmm. And what is my heart's desire? Vengeance. Justice. Is that Varys? Yep. <laughs> Fire and blood. So is she going to join forces with Daenerys now? The ships are nearly ready. <laughs> I saw them painting the sails. Curious to see how the Dothraki do on the poison water. You're not coming with us. You're staying here with the second sons. There's finally peace in Marine. You will keep the peace while the people choose their own leaders. I can't bring a lover to Westeros. A king wouldn't think twice about it. So that's what you want? To be my mistress? I'm not proud. <laughs> I don't care what perfumed aristocrat sits beside you in the throne room. I don't want a crown. I want you. The dwarf told you to do this. No one tells me to do anything. Clever fellow. Can't mm. argue with his logic. Slaver's Bay, Bay yeah. <laughs> I pity the lords of Westeros. They have no idea what's coming for them. Is this the last we're going to see of him? How did he take it? No tears. I take it Cersei doesn't know that, that the Tyrion that is this with is her. actually happening. You're in the great game now. And the great game is terrifying. The only people who aren't afraid of failure are madmen like your father. <laughs> he keeps insulting you know her father. I said farewell to a man who loves me. He wasn't the first to love you. And he won't be the last. Mm. Is Tyrion one of them? You have completely failed to console me. <laughs> I'd swear you're my sword, but don't actually own a sword. <laughs> it's your counsel I need. It's yours. Now and always. Good. <laughs> I, um... I had something made for you. A badge of the hand? I'm yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm not sure if it's right. Tyrion Lannister. And hand to the, the queen. queen. <laughs> of course, they did that scene with him standing on the steps so they'd be eye to eye. You're not one of mine, are you? No, my lord. Didn't think so. Too pretty. Where are my damn moron sons? They're here, my lord. Tell them to come here, now. But they're already here, my lord. Here, my lord. <laughs> they weren't easy to carve. <laughs> Especially Black Waldo. Oh, Arya. <laughs> My name is Arya Stark. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. 
<laughs> Take another name off the list. No. She avenged Rob and her mother. That's funny because I was just, during that scene with Tyrion and Daenerys, I was thinking we weren't going to see Arya. Yeah, I was just, I, I didn't say it, but I was thinking, oh, we're not going to see Arya in this episode. I came here every day when I was a girl, prayed to be somewhere else. Back then I only thought about what I wanted, never about what I had. How old is she supposed to be now? 17, 18? Stupid girl. You are a child. What do you want? Hmm. <laughs> he I wants you. I wanted. I was wrong. No. You weren't. Every time I'm faced with a decision, I close my eyes and see the same picture. A picture of me on the Iron Throne. Oh, okay. And you by my side. Uh, well, that's what I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> Pretty picture. She's not interested. <laughs> News of this battle will spread quickly through the Seven Kingdoms. I've declared for House Stark for all to hear. You've declared for other houses before Lord Baelish. It's never stopped you from serving yourself. Who should the North rally behind? True-born daughter of Ned and Catelyn Stark, born here at Winterfell? Or a motherless bastard, born in the South? Well, John already told her that she should be the Lady of Winterfell, that he shouldn't be the Lord. But is he going to be going back to Castle Black? This is where I leave you. You're not coming with us. The wall's not just ice and stone. Oh, yeah. Benjen. Molly stands. The dead cannot pass. I cannot pass. Well, we're not seeing anything about Hodor, so I'm assuming that he's dead. Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm the three-eyed raven now. I have to be ready for this. So what does that do? I guess that's putting him back into the past. Okay. Leona. Is that you? Is that really you? Oh, wow. You're not a dream. No, I'm not a dream. Listen to me, Ned. <laughs> so I guess we can't hear what she's saying. You know it. You have to protect me. Promise me, Ned. So John's not even Ned's son. At least that's what I'm assuming because of that transition. The fail to side with wildling invaders. We didn't invade. We were invited. Not by me. Free folk, the Northerners, and the Knights of the Vale fought bravely, fought together, and we won. The war is over. The war is not over. And I promise you, friend, the true enemy won't wait out the storm. He brings the storm. Your son was butchered at the Red Wedding, Lord Manderley. But you refused the call. You swore allegiance to House Stark, Lord Glover. But in their hour of greatest need, you refused the call. <laughs> Being chastised you, by a ten-year-old. Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. Still, you refused the call. But House Mormont remembers. The North remembers. Starts blood runs through his veins. He's my king. From this day until his last day. Hmm. So John is the new king in the north. Lady Mormont speaks harshly. And truly. I didn't think we'd find another king in my lifetime. Jon Snow avenged the Red Wedding. He is the White Wolf. The king in the north. A 
I did not fight beside you on the field, and I will regret that until my dying day. House Glover will stand behind House Stark, as we have for a thousand years, and I will stand behind Jon Snow. The King in the North! The King in the North! <laughs> so he's gone from steward, Lord Commander, to King in the North. Hmm. I don't think Littlefinger particularly likes that. Oh, he's back home. And he has no idea what's happening. Is Jamie just in time for his son's funeral? Or is Cersei... Cersei's going to claim the throne. I now proclaim Cersei of the House Lannister. First of her name. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Queen of the Andals and the First Men. Protector of the Seven Kingdoms. What? what why does she fall within the line of succession? I guess she killed everybody that would dispute it. I don't know what to take from that little look. Yeah, I don't know what what to take away from that look between her and him. Hmm. Got a dragon on the front of the ship. Is that Daenerys' ship? No, Daenerys' ship flies. <laughs> mm, it's a lot of ships. Yeah, that's a lot of ships heading toward Westeros. So that was a that was a fantastic final season, final episode of the season. A lot took place in that episode from destroying the sept, is it called? And then Tommen jumping out the window or falling out the window. Like I said during the episode, I've actually seen that specific little clip of him falling out the window. And I didn't know it was from Game of Thrones. I had no idea it was Tommen or what, what it was all about. And I've actually used that without knowing what it was, of course. So that's funny. That was that was funny. That was unexpected. <laughs> and Arya got her revenge. They said that John avenged the red wedding. John didn't avenge the red wedding. Arya avenged the red wedding by slitting Walder Frey's throat <laughs> and apparently serving him his sons in that meal whatever it was that that he, that he, she gave to him. So that was, that was good. I, I liked that, the way they did that. And she was able to tell him who she was and explain to him who it was that killed him. Now, when Bran went back in time or when he was able to see the past, that was Ned's sister. I forget what her name is. And apparently the baby was hers. And when she was whispering in Ned's ear, I could only hear her say something like protect him or take care of him, something like that. Couldn't really make out the rest of what was being said. Now, they showed the baby's face, and then they transitioned to John. So I'm assuming that the baby was John, and the baby's mother was Ned's sister, which makes Ned John's uncle, not his father. So that was... When Ned, or when uh, John was headed to the wall, 
and they were marching or riding for him to go to the wall. And Ned was headed off to King's Landing. He promised John that he would tell him who his mother was the next time he saw him. And of course, he never saw him again. But now we know who his mother was. If my assumption that the baby was John is correct. And I'm assuming, again, I assume a lot of things when I know I should not assume anything in this series. But I'm assuming that we'll find out probably in episode one for season seven. So there's a lot of twists and turns in the in these stories. So this wasn't quite an epic battle type episode like the previous episode was. But I would still say this was a pretty epic episode with Cersei destroying that sept, killing the, the High Sparrow, uh, killing Marjorie, killing killing all of the that, that entire religious movement, destroying it in just one action. Of course, I don't think she even imagined that she would uh, that she would push Tommen to jump out of that window at the loss of his wife. I'm assuming that's why he did it. Of course, it could be also because not only the loss of his wife, but he had taken full force into that religion, and in that one explosion, that one whatever you want to call it, explosion is what it was. He lost both his wife and his religion, or the leaders of his religion. So I don't think Cersei quite expected that he he was going to kill himself. But there was that prophecy that she was going to lose, she was going to have three children. And she would lose all three children. And that came that came true. So not the epic battle episode, like I said. But it's still a pretty epic episode. And I'm really looking forward to season seven. And I may go ahead and just start episode one tonight. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts about this episode, something that I didn't notice, something I didn't comment on, please leave some comments down below so we can talk about that. And if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in Season 7.